It's October 13th, 2008. You're watching the Stealth Mac Podcast. Episode 3, iCal and Outlook Synchronization Across a VPN. While using your PC, have you ever dreamed of breaking free from Outlook and using your Mac and iCal and Mail.app? Have you ever wanted your Outlook calendar reminders to appear on your iPhone and iCal? Well, stay tuned because in this episode, I'll show you how to do just that. Uh, this week is my very first video podcast. I call them screencasts here on the Stealth Mac. And I hope to cover how I sync my Outlook calendar with my Mac so that I get my Outlook reminders and iCal and iPhone. If you enjoy the Stealth Mac podcast, please let your friends know. If you have any questions or comments or show ideas, please email me at thestealthmac at gmail.com. I want to take a few moments explain to you kind of the theory behind uh, what we're going to do before I show you the applications and how to configure them. Um, some of the reasons of why I do what I do uh, basically is because I am using my work PC behind a VPN. This does require a PC running Microsoft Outlook 2003 or 2007. Uh, basically what you're doing is you're taking that data, you're putting it somewhere in the cloud almost like mobile me and then you're pulling it down into your iCal and, and then your iCal syncs with your iPhone and that's how you get your reminders on your iPhone. Um, I cannot access mobile me directly from my VPN my employer blocks that so I have to use a different third party that's not blocked by my company and uh, Google happens to be uh, a company that that uh, works fine so I'm going to show you how I do this Okay, so hopefully I can show you this visually and it'll make a little bit more sense. So your coworker, your friend sends you an invite for, say, a meeting, and that pops into your inbox in Outlook. So there it goes into Outlook. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to create a Google account, specifically Google Calendar. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sync up to the calendar, Google Calendar, from Outlook and then we're going to use another application to sync back down from the Google Calendar into iCal. So in this case we're going to sync up through a, a program called Sync My Cal and that's going to sync all the way up to Google Calendar. Google Calendar then also will sync with a program on my Mac called BusySync and that in turn will populate my iCal with the event. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go to gmail.com and it'll redirect you to here and what you want to do is you want to sign up for a gmail account so we'll go ahead and fill one out okay so we've already created a demo account here what the first thing we want to do is go up and click calendar alright then we want to you don't have to create another calendar, but I usually do, and I just call it Outlook. Um, all right. Uh, you do not need to make this calendar public. Create calendar. So now you have an Outlook calendar there. So we're ready now for the next step, which is setting it up on your... PC. For the purpose of this screencast, it's easier to show you how to do this in a virtual machine than to figure out how to set up screen capture software on my work PC. Not to mention there's data on my work PC that I don't want to share with the rest of the world. So here we are. This is an XP machine. I'm going to show you how to set up uh, Sync My Cal, and we're going to actually create a a meeting request here or an appointment here and we're going to watch it sync up to Google Calendar. So the first thing you want to do is go to SyncMyCal.com. This is not a free application but it is a free demo application so you can try it for 30 days before you decide you want to purchase it. Oops. You want to click uh, Sync My Cal. Go to free download. Click the I accept and then choose either for 2007 or 2003 depending on what you have. I have 2003 Pro. OK. 
Okay. As you can see, it does have a few requirements it needs to install first. This, uh, if I recall, requires a reboot as well, just uh, so you know. All right, you just uh, accept the defaults here. Click finish, and uh, like I said, now you need to restart. All right, so we've loaded Sync My Cal and we've rebooted our virtual machine or our XP machine. The first thing you want to do is go up and launch the actual application. Now you want to go into the settings, Sync Operations. Now, this is a demo version of this application. I was unable to use my license key to unlock it. Uh, there's a few features like automatic syncing that's turned off. So you're not going to see this automatically sync um, the way I have it set up and mine syncs every 15 minutes automatically. This without the license key will be only for automatic, or I'm sorry, manual sync. So the first thing you would do is add an appointment step. Now there's four different types of syncs here. You can download only from Google Calendar, upload only, only to Google Calendar, and then synchronize with Outlook precedents or Google precedents. Pretty much for me, this is a one-way street from Outlook to my iCal, so I usually do an upload only. And then you choose the Outlook calendar you want to sync. And then your Google Calendar credentials. Then choose the calendar that you want to sync with. In this case, I made the Outlook calendar earlier, and that's the one I'll use. All right, so that's pretty much it. Now let's go ahead and make an appointment. All right. So you can see on the 15th, I have a 9 to 10 a.m. project meeting. I'll go to, to sync my cal, click synchronize, click close, and let's refresh Google Calendar, and there you go. So you can see we have a one-way sync from Outlook to Google Calendar. All right, now let's get this set up on the Mac side. And now we're ready to set up the Macintosh side of the sync. Go to busysync.com. Also, spanningsync.com is another tool uh, I've used before. Uh, I'm using BusySync for this uh, demonstration. It's got a 30 day trial, it's uh, $25. Spanning Sync, I believe, is $65 for a lifetime use. I've already installed it and configured it here. You can see I put in my Google credentials. I'm going to have it update every five minutes, and I do want it to sync message alarms to the pop-up on Google Calendar. What this does is if there's a, a meeting notification, it'll pop up like 15 minutes before and tell you, hey, there's, there's a meeting. If you do not have this checked, it will not pop up and remind you. So then it'll automatically create that calendar in your iCal. Uh, I already have one called Outlook, so this one called it Outlook 2. Click Sync Now. And with any luck, you'll see, yep, there's the meeting request that we created in Outlook in the other segment. So there you have it, a synchronized Outlook calendar with the Apple iCal application. And also, if you have push notification turned on, you'll receive the same reminder on your iPhone. I hope that this information was useful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please contact me at thestealthmac at gmail.com or you can check us out at the forums at thestealthmac.com slash forum. I'm Matthew Hillier. This is the Stealth Mac Podcast. Thanks for watching.